Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this channel and uh, we are here today to uh, discuss uh, photo speaker further uh, to support multi uh, photo picker. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to continue from previous video. So if you haven't uh, seen that, I'm going to attach a link to the description so you can actually see that before continuing on this one because we are going to be using the project from previous video. Okay, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit like button and uh, make sure to follow because uh, we are going to be doing a lot more um, actually in case of iOS development. Um, and uh, one more thing I want to basically mention is uh, if you haven't checked out devtechy.com, please do so because there's a lot of content that's waiting for you uh, that you can learn about and uh, new content is coming um, every single day week okay so with that said let's go ahead and keep this on side and uh let's go ahead and start into the uh, discussion of today which is uh supporting multiple photo uh selection in photo speaker so let me go ahead and uh launch the um photo speaker and uh, this is a photo speaker that we worked in the last video once again i'm gonna leave the link in the description but uh, what it can do right now is uh, whenever you click on this pick a photo you actually get to see all the photos with the photo library and uh, you can select one of the photos and it'll uh, just appear on the screen instead of placeholder we actually display the photo itself okay so photo speaker provides the capability of single selection as well as multi selection of photos so we are going to extend that uh in our um app and uh in order to do that uh there are like you know uh multiple changes that we have to do uh and we're gonna start with our state variables so currently our state variables only support a single item uh, both of them uh, selected item and selected image and what we want to do is we want to support multiple values so the easiest way to do this is by changing these into an array so we're going to change this into an array of photo speaker item for example and uh, the second one is going to be a uh, uh, an array of ui image instead of image uh, reason is because image is not uh, hashable and uh, for us to use this inside for each you'll have to either make uh, either use ui image or you'd have to make a custom class that is going to be hashable so we can iterate over those values in for each so I thought the easiest way is uh, like you know to basically get it done by uh, uh, putting it into ui image array of ui image and then we're gonna we're gonna cast that uh, into an image we are doing that right here anyways so we're gonna short circuit this uh, step and uh, we can actually instead of storing the image we're gonna store the ui image directly in this array okay so that's the reason why we are actually changing the selected image is and items okay so selected images into an array of ui image okay so with that change in place now we are getting uh, some of these errors so let's go ahead and start resolving these so first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to say if let instead of this we're going to say if selected images dot count is greater than zero so if we have anything in the selected images then only we want to basically render this area okay now the other thing that we need to do is right now we are only we were only displaying a single selected image but we do want to support multiple images because if user has selected multiple images they would expect to see multiple images and we need to determine the strategy of like you know how should we display it you can display it in a grid you can display it in a v stack or a list in this case we're gonna display it in a h stack but for that we're gonna actually um in order to make it scrollable we're gonna basically wrap that h stack inside a scroll view we're gonna make sure that our scroll view is horizontal uh like you know uh, is horizontal not vertical and uh, then we're gonna create an h stack which is going to have a for each and this for each is gonna go iterate over something and that something is gonna be our selected images now like I said selected images is now UI image UI image is 
hashable that means uimh conforms to hashable protocol so that means for the id we can simply say it can identify each each row can identify itself and because these are images their hash values are going to be created differently for different image that means each image is going to be um is is identifiable or unique on its own okay so for each will be able to deal with them uniquely okay now this is gonna for each is gonna give us access to each individual image ui image not the image view and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our image view and image views overload called ui image we're gonna leverage that one and pass our image into that okay so what this is gonna do is uh, it's gonna convert our ui image into an image view now we have an image view that we can display it onto the screen we are already doing this but for now it's gonna basically resize to the to the biggest size that image has uh, that image has um, basically within it basically the dimension of the image itself so because it's taking the size of the image and we want to make sure we actually constrain that uh, to the size that fits to our screen or our need we can actually make this image resizable and then gonna define a frame okay and this frame is gonna have width of 200 and height of 200 just like we have down at the bottom okay and uh, now our image is ready so whenever user is picking those um, images uh, we're gonna display them inside a scroll inside an edge stack which is gonna be scrollable because we are wrapping it inside a scroll view and we're gonna iterate over all the images that user has selected and we're gonna display them as an image view okay so um, now we have changed our display but our photos picker is still complaining because it can't find that selected uh, item because now it is selected items okay and we're gonna leave the matching uh, any image and not video just as is okay and uh, what we're gonna do is for on change we're gonna first of all um, say that on change observer is now gonna be on selected items and this is gonna give us new values okay so uh, now we are getting multiple values and we want to make sure that we process those uh, values because now it's an array so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove everything that we have and uh, we're going to basically create our task block once again for first of all selected image we're going to make that empty because whenever user is changing the selected image we don't want to append the uh, existing item that user had already selected uh, but we want to basically display new items new selections okay and uh, um, basically you're gonna see in the picker uh, whenever the picker is launched what if user whatever user has selected uh, earlier those values are still gonna be displayed onto the photos library so you don't have to worry about like you know user selecting deselecting all those because they're gonna come back all right so with that said we are gonna empty our selected images which is our local state variable okay and this is basically what we're gonna use to parse our data into and then we're gonna go into for loop for value in new values so we're gonna iterate over new values mm -hmm. and for each value we're gonna do uh, basically we're gonna parse the data that we were doing just like we were doing earlier so we're gonna say if let image data and we're gonna put that in a uh, try optional and we're gonna put a weight against it because this is going to be a weighted value that we can actually we can wait on and we're going to load transfer transferable and uh, load transferable is gonna look for data uh, type so data dot self so the data type not data type data type okay so it's gonna look for that data type and then what we want to do is whenever we actually get that data we want to uh, display the we want to actually get the image so we're gonna create a ui image out of data sorry image data image data 
okay and then we we are going to get access to this image so now what we're going to do is we're going to simply have our selected images we're going to append our new element which is going to be the image so our selected image once again is uh, the collection of this ui image and that's what we are parsing here we are parsing ui image uh, with the help of data that we have actually just um, unwrapped or parsed from the uh, load transferable from the uh, photos picker item okay for each value and that value is now uh, in the form of an image is being stored in selected images okay so with all these changes as you can see all of the errors are gone and if i go ahead and rerun this what we should see is our same ui we're gonna pick the photo and uh, we're gonna select two images or let's select three and add okay so now you can see three of our images are being displayed and we're gonna actually we can select more now i've just added one more so selected four okay so as you can see four of our images are shown up even though we selected only one image picker remembered that we already had those selections so if i unselect uh, and leave just two we're gonna basically get those two images back into our view okay so this is great but what if you want to limit the maximum number of selection what if like you know uh, you want to say that user can only select up to two uh, images okay we can do that with the help of another uh, parameter that we have inside the photos picker and this one is called max selection count so let's go ahead and add a max selection count as you can see and uh, this one uh, takes an integer optional um, so it can be nil nil means as many as you want your user wants to but if you limit it to like you know certain number for example two it's gonna now limit um, the selection to uh, two photos only okay so let's go ahead and rerun and you're gonna select two photos and as you can see now i cannot select anymore i can deselect but i cannot select i can deselect and select another one and if you notice the uh, uh the view itself the simulator uh, photo library itself goes dim indicating that you cannot make any further selection so we're gonna simply add those two and as you can see we can add these now if we launch it we already have two selected and uh, if we want to deselect we can simply uh, select different image we can actually select a uh, different image so these two are showing waterfalls so i'm gonna select those two and there we have it we have two waterfalls showing up okay so that's how you can actually sort of uh, limit your multiple selections as well okay so with that uh, we have reached the end of this video where we talked about how to support multiple selections in photo speaker now once again thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe like the button hit the bell icon and uh, go ahead and visit www.devtechie.com and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you.